Hi ugly ducklings that are transforming into beautiful swans. We are officially at day four. Can you imagine we're opening a new, new door? And I want to honestly ask you, how was yesterday's experience and yesterday's transition? Because that required a little bit more of your time, more of your investment with yourself. And, you know, the last section of that exercise was meant to highlight your belief systems and your true self-conscious and subconscious thoughts of what you truly believe about yourself and think about yourself. That last section of all the words that you said out loud that were highlighted back to you through the recording are the thoughts that you kind of have almost every day without you consciously knowing it. Sometimes it's thoughts of, I'm not worthy. Sometimes it's thoughts of, I speak too much. I was told that I speak too much. Or I should be a bit more humble. Or I should, you know, lose some weight. Those are some thoughts that we usually have, you know, growing up and things that we have behind our back or within our mind, if you understand what I'm saying. In today's challenge, since it's Sunday, I think this is a beautiful challenge that we should try. Today we are going to debunk our social media and our platforms, homie. We're going to debunk people that no longer resonate with us. Even if it's our childhood friend, even if it's our nursery teacher, listen, they're not here to be our preacher. Sometimes we need to debunk the places and spaces where we invite information or revelation and entertainment and conversation and communication. And today I want you and challenge you to look through all your social media platforms and start gracefully and following the celebrities that you don't want to follow anymore. Or just, you know, unfriend the friend that's not even going to notice if you unfriended them. Basically, the challenge is about decluttering and debunking people that we no longer need as well, you know, so that we can truly just get more clarity in our identity and shift the narrative of being in a true reality that resonates who we really are. And, you know, there's a saying or there's a story basically, where if you want to go to greater heights, you've got to pack light. Because when you start going up that mountain, or when you start looking at a bigger perspective and a bigger view, you have to come with clarity, boo. You can't be holding on to the baggage of the past and say, oh no, I can't let her go. You know, I've known her since I was four. Darling, I told you we are in a new door. You know, and it's not to say that you have to be mean about it, block them and stuff like that. That's another conversation for another day, especially if they've been really mentally and emotionally bad for your mental health. We'll talk about that in the 21 days of how to deal with people who are just really so bad for our well-being that we have to go through extremes of protection for our energy and our you know, our identity. But for this purpose, it's basically noticing that, oh my word, like how are we still friends? We don't even talk to each other. There's no common interest. You're basically decluttering now. You're decluttering the subconsciousness of your thoughts, the subconsciousness of your connections and everything so that you can be in a new direction. So are you ready for that challenge? It's a phone challenge, remember? I tried it and it's really changed me a lot. You know, I'm a person who is in love with Beyonce, right? But over the years through my self-development and also learning to just love myself and not comparing myself or wishing that I was another form of a celebrity, a Kim Kardashian, a Beyonce, a Rihanna, I had to find the real me, the, 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 the Beyonce that I want to be for me, Bianca, the Rihanna that I want to embody, you know, without trying to look out of myself. I had to 
enjoy being my own essence of sexy, my own essence of femininity. And as much as I, you know, enjoy these women, I don't follow them on social media. I watch what they do. It's not that I don't give them any attention. I just do not follow them. I follow my own things that build me up spiritually, that uplift me mentally, things that invite comfort confidently, things that make me feel good about myself. Sometimes I would look at uh, Kim Kardashian's life or another influencer's life and I would compare myself to them and then I realize, oh yeah, social media. Social media does that. It makes you compare your life to people who are just having a showreel, a 30 second showreel of their life. You don't know what they're going through behind the scenes. You don't know what I'm going through behind the scenes. You see what I'm saying? And this is the reality that we live in, is that we are filled with insanity and we are so quick to create a facade of who we are and that we're all stars. And true, we are, right? But I think the reality is that we need to follow pages and people that uplift us, people that motivate us, like me. <laughs> I'm joking. But honestly, the truth is we need to be and do things that are really beneficial for our mental health, for our confidence and for our worth because the world will distract us and if you're a female it will always tell you that you're not beautiful, you don't have bigger boobs, you, have, you don't have clear skin, you need to be a size 4 or you need to be petite and you need to have a big booty and you need to bounce it back and forth and you need to lose yourself, you need to lose your wealth, you know? and. Um, I'm going to keep this one short. Debunk your social media and your social media platform. And I'll see you in day five. Ciao. And have a beautiful Sunday. Mwah.